What's going on, everyone? All right, we are back with some more Trails into Reverie. Uh, it's what Top Cat the Gamer. We're going to continue on with the story here. Uh, we're now nighttime after we just got through fighting Claire and the Thunder God, Mateus Vander. So we're going to go around and kind of just check on everyone and see what everybody has to say. That purple. What are you doing out here, purple? Oh, just waiting for someone. Please don't worry about me. Oh, right. The two of them really are like. Well, I'll leave you to it, but it's really cold, so try to stay out for too long. I will, thank you. Hmm. Wonder who she's meeting up with. Interesting. To say the least. Hey, Reen. Have a good soap. Just be careful not to stay out too long afterwards. You'll get the chills. I won't. Don't worry. I'm guessing you're not off work yet. Yeah, a bunch of vegetables came in on the last trip of the, of the day. So I'm going around delivering them to everyone. Listen, Reen. I hear you're planning on leaving tomorrow. Is the Empire about to get caught up in something big again? I can't say for sure yet. But don't worry. We'll do everything in our power to make sure it doesn't. And once it's all over, I'll be back. You better be. All right. All right, then. I'm happy to put my faith in you guys. And listen, if there's any, ever anything I can do, big or small, just let me know. Thanks, I will. Why is he out here just staring at the damn uh, <laughs> corn and <laughs> tomatoes? Uh. Nope. Wanted to see something here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get rid of that while I can. Okay. Uh, so we got the. Uh, who's over here? Uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> she keeps talking about leaving. She ain't going nowhere with all this shit going on around here. It's not safe. It's just not safe. All right. <laughs> what the hell's Ash doing? Not bad, big fella. Sounds like the doe has taken a liking to you. I've always been pretty good with dogs. <clears throat> so about that news. It wasn't what I was expecting to hear, but I don't think the prince would get off so easily. We probably, we probably don't got to worry too much. I'm inclined to agree. Let's put it out of our minds for now. I'll be counting on you tomorrow, Ash. When are you not, Schwarzer? <laughs> what a jackass. <laughs> Alright, let's speak to Yuna. Oh, Instructor Ring. I came to enjoy the foot bath since we'll be heading out tomorrow. It's so relaxing that my mind must have wandered off. I've been thinking about all sorts of things. I know the feeling. The foot bath seems to have that effect on people. If anyone would know, it'd be you. I guess this falls under the scope of your hot springs expertise. I'm worried about Prince Oliver and Shara, but that doesn't, I mean, but that just makes me more pumped to give him my all tomorrow. Same here. I'll be counting on you. <coughs> Something tells me, <coughs> God, dog, can't get clear. Something tells me that this is going to end at the end of this, though. Uh, well, what if I should just hold on to it? Yeah. Let's just go There's speak to Kurt. on the lookout platform again. I think I'll see how he's doing before heading home. His view is just as beautiful as the evening as it is in the day. <clears throat> yeah, on a clear night, we can see the whole uh, whole sea of stars up there. Thank you for supporting me today, instructor. 
I feel much more confident in my own abilities after the battle earlier. Glad to hear it. But you still look like something's bothering you. I know Prince Oliver's disappearance is weighing on you for sure, but I feel like there's something else on your mind. You really can't see right through me, can you? After training under you for so long, I was finally able to show my father how much I've improved. Between that and the fact <clears throat> we Vanders are once more able to serve as guardians to the Imperial family, I should be happy. But the man I swore to protect is no longer within my reach. So that's what's bothering you. The rumors of him becoming an Ouroboros enforcer are certainly concerning. Without a doubt. And if there are indeed truth, I cannot say I don't understand what drove him to it. I think it, I think when it came to Cedric, it was his, he always seemed like he needed to belong somewhere. And, you know, after what happened to him during the, um, Cold Steel 2, it was, you know, it really messed with him a lot. And then when it came to Cold Steel 3, he was kind of like trying to start his own little thing at the other school. And then he joined, um, uh, Green's father in the, the crusade of the twilight, whatever the hell they were doing there. And then after he had like, he didn't feel like he can go back home cause hell, he pretty much tried to, is a, a prince that tried to tear down his own kingdom that he's supposed to rule one day. So it's like, <laughs> who was really gonna follow him at that point without like controversy or whatever. And he didn't feel worthy of it. So I don't blame him for leaving, but joining Ouroboros, I just think he needed somewhere to belong and, you know, probably a little lost right now. All his life, he's been denied the freedom to choose his own destiny. That is true. He has. He was treated as an object, sheltered as a youth, then used and tormented as he grew into a man, all because of his royal blood. So when he was given the chance to live his, a life of his own choosing for the first time, he took it. I can empathize. Yeah, but I still think he's trying to just belong to something. Like, it's, it's, yeah, he has all the freedom to do whatever he wants now, but I mean, why not just live a normal life? But he chose to go with Ouroboros, those crazy ass people. <laughs> it does make a certain kind of sense. Of course, that empathy does not mean that I've given up on bringing him back. I think I made that perfectly clear to him when we last spoke. I told him that we need to start seeing each other as we are. I don't know when I'll have the chance, but one day I will go and find him. I don't know where we'll take it once I do. But if nothing else, I want him to know how I feel. Hmm. Did I say something strange? Sound like Reem when he was talking about Crow. Not at all. I thought I was going to need to give you some encouragement, but you picked up, picked yourself right back up. Just like you did when you were knocked off that cliff earlier. I still haven't quite wrapped my brain around that one. I was just acting out of desperation. That's all. Your father really does think highly, of, too highly of me. You and the others would have grown up just fine even without me. Disagree? I'm inclined to disagree, instructor. Wait, did you have a chance to talk to him? A little. We ran into one another in the springs, and he gave me some excellent advice. He may be a man of few words, but he possessed a tremendous kindness. I was honestly kind of intimidated by him at first, but now I can see a caring heart under that scary exterior. I should have known it wouldn't be it wouldn't take you long to see him for who he really is. Outside of combat or training, he's a gentle, kindly man. He doesn't smile much and has never been one to speak his feelings, so he's very easily misunderstood. He once learned that the local children were scared of him and spent the entire day upset that he could have caused them any distress. <laughs> as absurd as that sounds, it also makes perfect sense. You really do respect him though, huh? Of course. He's the pride of my whole family, myself included. I'm glad to hear it. Well, I'm going to head off. There's still a while until the meeting, 
but try not to stay out to, uh, in the cold too long, all right? I'll be sure to stay warm. See you later. Okay, let's see. Um, shit, I mean, I think that's I really don't think we have anywhere else to go. Eh, guess I'll rest. In the foot bath. Something tell me this acts when again though. This is about the same length as Lloyd's was. Oh, speed up. Okay, so just hold circle. It'll speed it up. Because <laughs> shit. Takes entirely too long to do that. Okay. Who is this over here? Oh God, no! She's talking to the mom. I'm so sorry. It isn't right of me to ask our guests to help me clean up. Please, it's only right that I pitch in and help my future mother-in-law. <laughs> God. And you know what they say, idle hands are the 77 devil's tools. Yes, I suppose you're right. There's no shame in wanting to help each other. Good. By the way, mother, do you have any fun stories about the instructor when he was younger? I thought they may come in handy for reference. Oh, when Reen was a child? Now that I think about it, I'm sure his childhood photos are around here somewhere. Would you like to take a look later? I'd love to. I'm too late. She's already gotten a mom. There's no stopping this girl, is there? I mean, she calls her mom, mother. I mean, like, it's crazy. I'll never forget when Reem was little and uh, still getting used to life around the manor. He was so earnest but stern. It only made him all the more sweet. Oh, that's so cute. Please tell me more, ma'am. I'm dying to learn about our beloved instructor in his younger years. I think that's my cue to bow out before I hear anything more. Yo, man, that, that girl right there. Well, I'm gonna get fired. Fired! Who you talking to, Claire? What's going on over here? Okay. It sounds like she's deep in conversation about something work-related. Should I wait here until everyone's ready to meet? Um, I guess that, we're, I guess we're done. There's really nothing else going on, so. What do they have to have a meeting about? Everyone, if I could have your attention. Oh, shit. I'm afraid I have terrible news. Oh, she found out about, uh, Crossbell. Crossbell's signing ceremony today was disrupted by a surprise attack. Crossbell has been reoccupied. Huh? Oh shit, Yuna ain't gonna like that. By who? What happened? I can't believe it. <laughs> well, Yuna, um, if you need to lie down, we quite understand. Oh, don't worry about me. This is just all so sudden it took a minute for me to process it. But there's no way in hell I'm going to sit around sulking when there's work to be done. Well, if you're really sure. I'm sorry. I should have broken the news uh, to you more gently. That was careless of me. Don't sweat it. I imagine you must have been pretty stunned when you found out too. Right now, I just want to know the details of what happened. For one thing, who would do this? Good question. Can you fill us all in? Of course. I apprised Lord Mateus of the details earlier, but you all deserve to know. As I mentioned, the signing ceremony of Crossbell Independence at 2 p.m. today came under attack. The assault was the work of a military force led by Rufus Alvarez. Rufus Alvarado, but he was arrested, right? He was, yes. But last night, the former gover governor general and his subordinates escaped from Arg's fort, where they were being held. 
Though their breakout certainly put us on high alert, we had hoped to keep this information from going public and causing confusion during the ceremony. She knew that shit and never said a thing? Man, unfortunately, it seems people had to find out in the worst possible way. So you're saying that they escaped one night, then were able to take over Crossville the very next afternoon? There's got to be more to this. Agreed. We're clearly dealing with something that have been carefully planned. What about Lloyd and the rest of the SSS? Come and think of it, they were supposed to be helping with the ceremony security. I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about the SSS so far. I'm sure they did their best to hold off the assailants, but... Oh man, no. I, I suppose all we can do is pray that they're alright. You kidding me? No way uh, any real harm could have come to him with Randolph there. I have to agree there. I'm sure the members of the SSS are all fine. What happened after the initial attack? Rufus's military force spread out, defeating the CGF and taking control of the entire region. God damn! After which, Rufus would dubbed himself the Supreme Leader and proclaimed the establishment of the United Nation of Crossville. That sounds ominous the words right out of my mouth his new title and proclaimed rule make clear that he wants to rule the entirety of crossbell once more well too bad because we're not gonna let him that's right if it wasn't obvious rufus alvarez is acting alone without the government or imperial family support but why do this now of all times do you have any idea what his goal could be major i'm afraid not I will be the one to bear the responsibility for His Excellency's actions. It is the best way we can go about quelling the unrest in Erebonia and solving the issue of Crossbell all at once. Hmm. I can think of no better way for us Ironbloods to honor him. Interesting. I don't want to think he was lying when he said all that. Putting him aside for the moment, what's the current situation in Crossbell? I'm concerned about how the surrounding nations must be reacting to. Currently, Rufus, uh, black-clad soldiers are blockading all routes in and out of the region. Both Erebonia and Calvert seem content just watching how everything plays out for the present. It makes sense for the Empire to be reluctant to interfere in Crossbell's affairs after the war, but the Republic's silence is a little more unexpected. Both countries suffered major losses from the Aeons and the Septarian of Zero when they attacked Crossbell three years ago. I'm guessing they aren't going to forget that in a hurry. Those losses ended up leading to the Civil War here and the economic crisis in Calvert too. So Calvert is likely playing safe uh, for now until they know what they're dealing with. But they're not just going to sit this out, for, sit this out forever, are they? I doubt it. It probably won't be long before they start making moves. Which isn't likely to end well, given that we they've steadily been decreasing, increasing their military strength for a while now. All communication with the region is being blocked, so I'm afraid that's all we know. I'm so sorry I can't tell you how your family is doing, Yuna. I'm sure you must be so worried about them. No, it's all right. Their explanations made me feel a lot more at ease. It doesn't sound like the soldiers occupying Crossville are going to hurt innocent civilians. I'm more worried that uh, I worried about those who would try to resist the occupation. People like Lloyd or the rest of the SSS, I hope they're all okay. There are a lot of people we know in Crossville right now. Yeah, which is also concerning. Elisa and Sharon are there representing the Rhinefell Company, or uh, two, uh, two name two. I'm sorry, two name two. Then Toa is uh, there representing Thor's, and Machias is there on behalf of the inspector. And they were all supposed to attend the signing ceremony. They're all likely targets in the event of the attack too. Hell, I'd be more surprised if they weren't targeted. Thank you, Ash. That puts all of us at ease. <laughs> Boy, I tell you the truth. 
like I said, I'm sure everyone's fine. We've been through more than our fair share of trouble in the past and came out the other end in one piece. That goes for Lloyd and the SSS too. I wouldn't be surprised if they're all working together to get the situation under control. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they are. All we can do, uh, all we can do is believe in them. I assume you have finished discussing the Crossbell situation? If you would, Major, I would like to discuss the other matter at hand. Father, there's something else? Yes, you see, a video recording was recently delivered to the Intelligence Division. It doesn't directly concern what happened at Crossbell, but I think it is something that all of you should see. Oh God, what the hell is happening now? I am C, leader of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. What the hell? With the iron-blooded monster slain, the Empire had claimed its key to enter an era of peace. Alas, it would seem his poisonous beliefs are now being carried on by zealots, espousing nonsense of a united nation. <laughs> what the? To those who support their losing game, and to the ignorant politicians who allow these dogs to bark, I, we shall see you pay for your crimes. Our first target was the foolish prince and his wings, now bound to inaction. Our next target shall be the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City. What the hell's going on? <laughs> well, there we go. Somebody's finally taking responsibility for the prince's napping. By the name of C, too. Why does that ring a bell? C was the alias used by the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, a terrorist group who opposed the late Chancellor Osborne. His true identity was revealed to be a Thor student who you all know very well, Pro Ambers. Yeah, that checks out. Still, I know none of this makes any sense. Pro has no reason to be using that name again, and even less reason to abduct Prince Oliver and Sherazard. Does that mean someone else has taken his alias for their own? I think that's a safe assumption. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue as to Crow's whereabouts. Can you get in contact with him? I'm trying, but he's not picking up. Of course he wouldn't be. I know he went home uh, to Jirai a few days ago, but beyond that, nope, I can't get through to him. Just like I can't contact Elisa and the others. Does something have happened in Jirai? It's been a high bid for conflict lately due to the independence movement, so that's a possibility. But there's always a chance that he was caught up in some entirely unrelated trouble. I have faith in Crow. Even if he did get caught up in something, he'll get himself out of it. I know. For sure. That guy has been always been a wily one. Either way, that video does tell us a few things. True. We can't be certain that this new uh, that uh, certain of this new C's identity, but I think it's safe to assume they are responsible for the prince's abduction. They also seem to be in conflict with Rufus Alvarea and his faction. Though judging by the timing of the prince's abduction, you almost wonder whether they saw Crossville occupation coming. Hmm. And if they if they did, that only raises more questions. Either way, now that we've got our culprits, we've got to work on going after them. Indeed, and I think the best clue will be the last part of the recording. The muck and mire that gathers in Familiar City, huh? Uh, wait, for my Heimdall? First we learn the prince was abducted, and then we get that mysterious declaration. That was a lot to take in. Either way, I can discuss it all with my classmates tomorrow morning. Then we can decide how best to approach all this. Fight ain't never over, huh? Hmm. The hell? Uh, 
I know it's March, but it's still cold to be out at night, Yuna. Especially in areas that still have snow on the ground. What are you doing here, Instructor? I could sense you out here from inside my room. Given how late it is and how new you are to Ymir's weather, I couldn't help but worry. <laughs> you can't just whip out those super senses for any old thing. <laughs> Maybe. But every time they prove useful in a situation like this, I'm glad I spent time honing them. What are you sitting down for, anyway? Aren't you here to make me go inside? This isn't the academy door. There's no curfew here. If you want to stay up a little late, I'm not going to stop you. Wow. <laughs> you sure you should be saying stuff like that to your impressionable students? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think it hurts once in a while. <sighs> so you're not going to ask me anything? I'm not even sure where to start. I feel like you're the one who has to be willing to open up here. Open up? You think I'm just trying to act fine when I'm not, don't you? Not just think it. I know I'm correct. You are. You are, but... How many times has this happened now? Over and over. Rosbell finds itself in danger, and every time... I get all worked up and cause more problems for everyone. That place does stay in the shit, man. I can't even lie with her just... on that one. <laughs> tired of being such a burden. So what choice do I have but to bottle it all up and deal with it on my own? I get what you're trying to say. <clears throat> but you're missing the fact that everyone wants to help you when things go south. That goes for all your classmates. And me. If it was the other way around and one of your classmates needed help, wouldn't you want to give it to them? Well, yeah. Of course I would. But I think you're the last person I want to hear that from. Hmm. I get you're our instructor and all, and students aren't supposed to be the ones teaching the teacher, but... That's not why I don't turn to you. Thing is, I have the same problem you do. And I need to work on it too. She does have a bit of a point, yeah. And turning to your friends, or your students comfort and advice isn't a sign of weakness that's what they're there for and that doesn't change no matter how many times you have to do it you help each other so you can move forward together I, i'm with him on it then can i go on can i turn to you for comfort now oh it's really sad of course you can Uh, the whole entire time, man. We fought so hard. And we thought this was finally it. Oh my god, the tears. So, why did they go and take it away from us again? Why can't Crossbell just be free? What did we do to deserve all this? Just leave us alone. Ah, <sighs> man. I know how she feels. That sucks, man. Do you feel a bit better now? <laughs> yeah. But now the embarrassment of all that crying in front of you is really starting to set in. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about me. I'm fine now, really. No matter how many times people take our home, we'll just take it right back from them. That's what I like to hear. Well, I guess it is getting late. I'm gonna head back to my room. So, um, thank you for lending me your coat. I'll give it back now. I don't want you being cold either. Ah, uh, boy. Thanks. Good night, Yuna. Tough, man. Well, 
I'd better get to bed, too. It's been a really, really long day. Ah, <sighs> that sucks, though. I, I feel her pain on it. All right. Looks like that is the end of Reen's route. Man, this really, like, blew me away. Like, just start off, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, everything just went to shit all of a sudden. Okay, uh, I'm trying to think here. Should I? Yeah, I think I'm going to end here. Um, When we come back, we'll be going straight to, I guess, the next route. It looks like it's a mysterious route or something like that. But let me save it here. But thank you guys, as always, for rocking with me through this. This series is fantastic. And I truly hope you guys come back for some more. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.